Welcome to the Arsenal Channel. Today we're going to be talking about the legendary harpoon gun, Frenzy. Okay, and specifically we're going to be talking about the precursor for it. That's what we're going to be making today, Rage. We're going to be making a lot of Rage today, okay? So if you want to make Rage, this is the place to be. Rage, here we are. You're here for Rage, you're in the right place, okay? So, what are we going to do? This is the standard stuff for making Frenzy, but at the bottom you'll see there's a link for the experimental harpoon gun. I've already got that over here. Frenzy 1, the experimental harpoon gun. We're going to do all of this and all these steps. We're also going to go through Frenzy 2, the perfected harpoon gun. We're going to follow all of these steps. And then we're going to go to Frenzy 3, surprise, surprise, and we're going to learn all the steps to make our final rage. Prepare to be enraged. Be the, in the possession of rage. Own your rage. Here we go. Let's make some rage. Once again, back to Grandmaster Craftsman Hobbs. We want him to show us his wares, and we want to go and we want to buy Frenzy Volume 1 for 5 gold Everything and 10,000 karma. All right. And that's going to open up in our inventory here. We're going to get this Frenzy Volume 1. We double click it, and it starts the collection that we need to, to collect. And that's going to start with uh, something pulled from an ancient barracuda in Dredge Haunt Cliffs, an ancient barracuda tooth. So we're going to go to Wyrmblood Lake, and we're going to wait, and then finally it will appear. The event will spawn, and we'll just beat on this, this little guy until he dies and gives us his teeth, because that's the kind of people we are now. Okay, so now we're going to go to get an armored fish tooth in Malcor's Leap. We have to go to the Drowned Brine here. You see me sailing across we're going to go down underneath the waves to this ship. going to go here. There's the fish. That's the fish we need right there. We're going to beat him senseless and take his teeth. And now we need to go to get an electric fish tooth from Mount Maelstrom in the sunken Drokna over here. All right. There's a lot. I had to, mm, this took a while to find one that would drop. Maybe you'll be lucky you get one the first try. But here we go. We fight him. We make him die. And then we extricate goodies from his corpse. All right. Next up, we need a jellyfish stinger. And we're going to need that from Frost Gorge Sound. Okay. So we're going to go into the Maldonar Inlet. And there's the big jellyfish. We beat him down. Take his stinger. All right, next up, we got to get a spike tail spike in Diesa Plateau or Harathi Hinterlands. I chose Diesa Plateau in Black Blade Lake. So that's where we're going now. And there he is. Beat him to within an inch of his life and then beat him some more and take his stuff. And all we got left now is one more. We got to get uh, the jellyfish beast stinger from the underwater ruins fractal. So we go to the fractals of the mist. And there he is. I'll just, you know, do the whole fractal, get to the end, and beat this jellyfish. And when you're done, when he's dead, you get the last piece of this first collection. There it be. There it is. All right. Back to Grand's Master Craftsman Hobbs here. We're going to get the box here. We're opening it. Back to Lion's Arch, anyway, from the mists. And there's our chest of fish. We get an essence of fish. And we're going to get a box of recipes for the first tier. And there it goes. We consumed it. Which means we can now make the first precursor. We type in Rage Experiment. Just as much as you need to. All right, we need to make uh, an experimental harpoon exotic. We've got all the materials here. Memories of battle and shards of glory, of course, come from Wuvwa and PvP. And we need to make an experimental harpoon gun stock. We need spirit wood planks now. We've used all, our, all, all I had, so here we go. Okay. Okay, next up is the legendary underwater inscription. Gonna need to make an ore calculated dowel first, and then we can craft the full thing. And there's our rage experiment finished. 
There's the uh, preview, and then there's the new collection we've unlocked. We've unlocked the second collection. We've got the first item in it already. And we know the next thing is going to be crafting. So, this is what the uh, precursor looks like, the first one anyway. Ta-da! Hail, mighty crafter! I would like to congratulate you on your initial success in creating your legendary weapon. It may not seem like much. An experimental creation. From it, you can build your legendary precursor and eventually your mighty legendary weapon itself. Your journey is far from over. The next collection on your journey has been unlocked. Check it out to see where your quest takes you next. Yours in legend, Grandmaster Craftsman Hobbs. Hello, friend! A fine time for hunting. Are your weapons ready? I'm working on crafting frenzy. I'm happy to help you hone your craft in pursuit of this. Here's what you have left to work on. Teach me to craft a weighted harpoon. A weighted harpoon recipe has been unlocked for huntsmen. Show me what else I need to do. Teach me to craft a balanced harpoon stock. A balanced harpoon stock recipe has been unlocked for huntsmen. All right. So we're going to go and type in weighted harpoon. And there it is. We got our mithril ingots, our elderwood planks. We got to make Deldramore steel. Some more of that. All right, we got to make another spirit wood plank. And then we're ready. We got to type in our balanced harpoon gun stock. We need to make another spirit wood plank. And there we go. There it is in the collection. Next up, we got to go talk to Scholar Mossy. All right, back to Lion's Arch. Here she goes. I'm quite fascinated with the ways in which we might increase the power of our weaponry through applied magics. <laughs> I'm working on crafting Frenzy. Interesting, very interesting. There are many magics that could apply to the power of a harpoon gun. I'd love to study them if you bring me the materials I need to do so. <laughs> That's just what I'm looking for. Where should we start? Let's start with applied desert magics. Bring me 1,000 bandit crests so I might barter with those of the desert for the... Less the conventional materials I need. I have the bandit crest you were asking for. And let's look at my bank here. Yes, bandit crest, there they are. And yes, I do have them. Excellent! These bandit crests will go a long way for my research on desert magics. Great! What's next? I am very interested in the magics emanating from the jungle and their effect on those living nearby. Bring me 400 geodes so I might use them to ingratiate myself with these folk. I have the geodes you were asking for. And I do. They're right there. See? Ta-da! Huzzah! These geodes should be enough to convince those people to let me study them, right? Sure. Uh, what other magics could be applied to the power of my harpoon gun? Obsidian is a fascinating material with many potential applications. Bring me 100 obsidian shards so I might study them more closely. Alright, so I'll go over to my bank. Just happen to have some sitting there on the top. Go back over to her. Get back to it. Tell her I've got them. Yes! They're quite lovely, aren't they? And surprisingly sturdy. Yep. And now what we've got is one item left to get. What other magics could apply to the power of my harpoon gun? None. None at all. That's it. I'm done with you, son. Get out of here. I, I got everything I needed from you. I extorted everything you could possibly imagine. There you go. 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 I, I took advantage of you. Go. All right. Okay. So here we go. Now we're going back to Hobbs. We go to his uh, second tab. And we're going to buy Frenzy Volume 2. And there it is. I'm always a And now this. the collection is complete. So now, of course, we need to craft the perfected harpoon. Here's the perfected harpoon box. Get that. Goes into our inventory. Double click it. We get our expertise in harpoon gun crafting item. And we get our box of recipes for rage, the second tier. And we click on that. And, of course, now we know it. Go back to our huntsman. And we're going to have to sacrifice our rage experiment. As it says there, salvage this weapon to, to retrieve its spirit. Target so, there's its spirit. We've got it. Right there. Now we're going to go and we're going to take and type in perfected. And we're going to get the jar of luminescent polish. And you see I don't have enough bloodstone dust. So, of course I go get some. Come back. And now I've got some magically. Wow. Okay. Now we're going to put that these items together. And we're going to craft it and leave that now we got to get our prismatic lodestone which is just one of each of these easily obtainable things there we go get out of that and now we're going to craft our perfected harpoon our second tier precursor and i deserve it and there it goes 
Congratulations, you've crafted the perfected harpoon gun. And there it is, the first item in our third collection that is now open to us. Hail, Quester of Legends! Let me be among the first to congratulate you on the power of your mastery and the new doors that it opens to you. You are well on your way to crafting your precursor, on the path to attaining your legendary weapon itself. Your next collection has been unlocked, detailing your steps for when you are ready to begin the next epic phase of your adventure. I have utter and complete faith in your ability to handle the daunting task presented to you. Yours in might and yours in magic, Grandmaster Craftsman Hobbs. Okay, the third collection is all about these tokens of friendships from Quaggan. And we gotta go get the first one by defeating to Quaddle the Sunless. So we go out here and we beat him down. We make him sorry he ever existed. And then we get a champ we get we get the achievement. We get the event succeeded. But that's not all. That's not the end of it. Now we've gotta go back up here to this village and tell them how great we are. So we go up to this Quaggan village in here. We gotta find their chieftain. He's in one of these huts. We talk to him. He tells us how great we are for killing the giant undead. And we say, you know what? Thank you back in return for giving us this token of friendship. Now, obviously, this is not done in order, okay? You do not need to do this collection in order, and I would suggest you don't because a lot of it is based on world bosses, so you're going to need to use an event timer. But anyway, the next one is in Quetzal Bay here in Kaladin Forest. You can see me headed down towards this heart. This heart vendor, once you finish it, no matter how long ago you finished it, which for me was years ago, you can go to him and you can talk to him and buy this friendship bracelet right here. And that's the second one. Or in this case, the fourth. But you get what I'm saying about don't do them in order. The next one, we're going to go to beat the Inquest Golem Mark II. So you take him down. There's that one. Mount Maelstrom, here we are. You see the Mount Master map here. And we're going to take him. We're going to go to this sunken Drokna uh, Quaggan village, and we got to tell them of our of our vast am amount of victory that we have just spawned. And we've got to give it to him straight and tell him. And he's like, "Oh, we saw you destroy the giant metal monster. You're wonderful." And we tell him, "Yeah, thank you. We know we're wonderful. We appreciate that." But as soon as I talked to him, we got the achievement for that. So there you go. The next thing we have to do is we have to beat Admiral Tida Covington in Blood Tide Coast. So, beat her. She's gone. No longer a problem for any of the locals. But we gotta go over to this Quaggan village over here and we gotta tell them of the tale of the deeds that we have, have wrought. So here we go. Go up to this first guy here at the door. He's great. He's like, oh, Quaggan saw you kill the pirate lady. You're great. You're wonderful. I love you. And we say thank you back. Okay, next up we're going to stay in Blood Tide Coast, and we see the Sorrowful Sound uh, mini-dungeon over here, okay? You go up to this thing, there's a whole mini-dungeon, you can do the whole thing, but uh, I don't like doing it, so uh, thankfully my wife has a character permanently uh, there collecting that chest, so I just teleport to friend, go to her, and then I can open the chest for myself. And there'll be dailies here, so you can do the same thing if you want to. There's dailies for opening this chest all the time. You just get somebody to portal you up when, when that daily rolls around again, if you don't feel like doing the puzzle. And the thing you're looking for is the quaggan egg that I just showed up that close there. And we're going to bring that quaggan egg over here to this guy. And he's so sad that he, that he lost his, um, his egg. And it's like, I found this egg nearby in the inquest lab. And he's like, holy crap, thank you. appreciate you. You're wonderful. All right, we know we're wonderful. Let's go on. Still staying in Blood Tide Coast, we're going to come over to this watery area right here because there's an event going on that we're going to need to capture. And that event is killing a bunch of Risen. And you'll see them right here. And if you, the event is called Defeat the Risen Attackers and Protect the Quaggan Guards. So that's what you do. And once you're done, once it's all over, this little guy up here comes back to his little guarding post and you talk to him. As soon as you, as soon as you touch him, you get the next piece of the collection. It's all over. All right, next up, we're going to Kessex Hills. And we're going to go to this heart over here. And this is the one we got to purchase. And he's going to sell us this friendship bracelet. And there we go. Very easy, as long as you have that heart done. Now, Gender and Fields, we got to go up here to Lake Gendar. And we got to beat off some more. Oh, that didn't sound right. We got to beat these um, cutthroat pirates and anything else that comes up to try and take us to defend the Quaggan uh, Pass Keepers from the pirates. That's the event. So that's what we do. Take out anything that comes up, and then we go talk to the guy afterwards, and he's like, oh, so thankful, and as soon as we touch him, we get the next piece of the puzzle. We're done. Malkor's Leap. There's a village right south of this waypoint right here. So we just have to go around the arches, and we got to defend the village. we got to take out these people. Drive the Risen Crate out of the village. 
And there we go. We destroyed him. And we, as soon as we touch this guy, he gives us the, the achievement. And he's so happy we saved his village. He's just ever so thankful. All right. On to Lornar's Pass. Right outside of Griffin Rook Run, there is this island over here. It's got an event going on with a bunch of pirates. There is a quag in there who desperately has the dream to become a pirate captain or a captain or whatever. We kill the pirates that are bad. We go congratulate him on becoming the new pirate captain. He is Captain Swash. Swash. And there we go. As soon as we touch him, we get our achievement. And he's so happy, so wonderful. All right. Now we're going to go on to Snowden Drifts to Isenfall Lake. All right. There's an event down here where you got to kill a bunch of these poisonous urchins. So once you do that, the achievement's done. You've, you've freed the village from their toxic influence. You touch this guy who's the village leader, and he's just sappy. And, and there you go. He gives you a friendship bracelet. On to Frost Gorge Sound. There's a village here under the water that's near where the Claw of Jormag makes its end, and you're going to want to help the Moshpoipoi village guards defend against the Ice Brood. Okay? So you're going to have to make sure the guards stay alive as they attack. And my suggestion is if you're going to solo this, that you let all of them die except the two that are closest together, and, you know, fight to defend them as if your life depends on it. It doesn't. Their lives depend on it, but you know what I mean. But anyway, then you're going to go and talk to the village elder who's in here, and he's going to be ever so thankful and give you a friendship bracelet. And there you go. Uh, Quaggin didn't do jack. I did everything. I don't know what you're taking credit for. Boo. Okay, next up we are in another part of Frost Gorge Sound. We're going to go to this heart vendor over here. Once you've finished the heart, once you've done all the stuff, it's going to sell us this friendship bracelet right here. And there it goes. And now staying in this map, we're just going to head south and underwater, under the waves here, there's another Quaggan village. And this is a whole chain of events. The first starts with talking to this guy in the middle. Slisha has gone in search of this Shimmer Bobble, but she's taking longer than is normal for her. If you have time, please help her. I'll gladly help. Thank you. Slisha should be in Plupu Needle, just east of here. The waters are dangerous there. Please hurry. So yeah, I hurry down here. And they have a right to worry because, guess what? She's dead. She's been dead for a while. Who knows how long. But now she's alive again. I'm going to escort her on this journey all the way back to the top. And, well, actually, no. She gets sidetracked. She wants to finish her original mission. So, yeah, we're not taking her to safety. We're taking her to the next part. The shimmer bubble of Malagan really is and she gets her goodies, and she's happy. There's the event the succeeded. We, we escort her the rest of the way back, and here we are. Once the competition grounds are cleared, the contest can begin. Okay, you know what that means. That means we're going to have to clear the Quaggan Games competition grounds. And that means we're going to have to kill all of these little dudes here and these little X's. And, you know, it's going to take a while. So let's get past. Okay, next up, we got to go up to this guy and bring him back Arctic Kelp from all over this place, okay? Very easy to do. But each time you pull one, well, not each time, but most of the times you pull one, you're going to get one of these monsters to appear out of the ground. And you gotta kill them all. Now you suffer. All right, give him the final ones. Wait for the event. It's over. You're done. Quaggan's blubber moves like the sea. Quaggan's speech is very annoying. Ooh, likes you. All right, so now we gotta fight this dude. That's, that's all been leading to this fight. It's an epic battle of epic proportions. And you know what? He goes down pretty easy. There you go. Oh god, I'm scared now. Alright, anyway, you gotta go over to this other part of the village and you gotta talk to this guy right here. And he will give you the friendship bracelet for helping everything out. And there you're done with that long ass thing. Alright. Next up. We're going to Timberline Falls. We've got to go into this grotto here. Uh, it's always going to be conflicted almost when this event is on, so you're going to have to swim out like I did. So, And you hope the event is on, or at least one of the two events. Either this one, Prevent Crate from Kidnapping uh, Okarinu Quaggins, or the other one, which is to rescue them. And at the end of either one of them, after you've killed a bunch of Crate, which is always a, a healthy endeavor to do, always want to kill Crate, you're going to need to talk to this guy, and he will give you a friendship bracelet for your troubles. All right? He's ever so grateful, ever so happy. 
Now, we need to go to Valse Lake in Snowden Drifts, okay? And this guy is another heart vendor. All you got to do is make sure the heart's done, and then you can go up to him and look at his wares, and he's got a friendship bracelet waiting for you. Get the expensive one, never the cheap one. That's the one you need. There you go. And now back to Grandmaster Craftsman Hobbs. He's going to show us his wares, and we're going to go to the third tab, and we're going to buy Frenzy Volume 3 for another 10,000 karma. And there it goes. And here it is. The third collection is completed. Finished. Finite. Done. All right. Here's the box, Frenzy 3 Rage. We're going to click on said box, and it's going to give us the essence... And it's going to give us this box of recipes for Rage. We're going to go back to our Huntsman. We're going to type in Rage. There it is right there. We've got the Essence of Quag and Friendship. The Spirit of the Perfected Harpoon Gun is going to happen when we salvage the Perfected Harpoon Gun. So, just got to go down here. Grab our salvaging tool. And there we go. Power flow Done. Is 30%. So now we have the first two pieces of the puzzle. And now we need our fish figurine, which is going to acquire some, some basic uh, items. The sun beads you can get from a vendor, a highlight vendor in Sparkfly Fan. And, and then we need the aerator. And we're just going to put these items into it that I already have. And we've got an aerator. Now, go back and we can make the final precursor. Rage. Congratulations, you've crafted the legendary precursor Rage. Dun, dun, dun. And this is what it looks like. It's not very impressive yet. It doesn't have all the glowy bits, but that's coming. There it is. Hail, open ultimate creator. I am delighted to hear of your prowess and power and your progress in attaining the necessary precursor to create your legendary weapon. You have strode the lands of Tyria like a giant, battled its fell beasts, and succeeded where so many have turned aside. Congratulations. Go see Miani, who holds the recipes necessary for your final steps in creating your legendary weapon. She will be expecting you. Do not falter. Success is within your grasp. Yours, Grandmaster Craftsman Hobbs. And that's it. That's it. The legendary is done. Well, <laughs> the legendary precursor is done, okay? This precursor is ours. It is in our hands, okay? You follow my steps, you've got it too. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining the Arsenal Channel. I appreciate you.